What is up everybody? This is Will Gibbons from willgibbonsdesign.com and I'm going to share with you a cool feature from the upcoming Keyshot 6.0. It's called Geometry Editor. Before, you were not actually able to edit geometry within Keyshot. Those days are gone. So I've been learning Moto and this is a model I created using Von Ling's Gumroad tutorial. You might have recognized it depending on how observant you are from the Blade Runner movie. It's the uh, Braun HL70 fan. I modeled this up, threw some materials on it in Moto, then brought it over to Keyshot to model or to render it. And I wanted to do a scene where the fan with its fan guard was sat upright next to the actual stand. But I want to show you that you can now do that in Keyshot without interrupting your workflow and going back into the 3D program to achieve that. So if I right click on the piece that I want to break into multiple pieces, it's called acrylic now, and I go to edit geometry, I get a warning saying some uh, live linking might be interrupted, that's okay. And then I get some options. In my case, I want to split this geometry into separate objects. So I click that and I hit next. I select the item I want to break into multiple pieces. This little window is showing me. And I want to hit split all. Now this gives me again a little idea of how many pieces it's going to be broken into. Uh, I'm not really concerned with that as long as I can get the two objects separated. So I go ahead and hit done and close my geometry view, don't need that. Now over back here on the left, you can actually see the acrylic now has a plus by it. And all these different pieces have been created out of the original solid chunk. So what I'm gonna do is select all of the pieces that make up the fan guard right here. See I've selected them all on the left. I'm gonna right click on that and go add to group. I will select the model that I want to add it into. And I'm going to click New Group and call this Fan Guard. Now all of these have been added into a subgroup independent of the acrylic group, which is actually the base that I wanted to separate the guard from. Hopefully that's clear. Hit OK. This tells me it's going to interrupt live linking again. That's OK. And up here, on the left, in my scene tree, I can minimize the fan guard and the one called acrylic. I can change that to base, so we now know what it is. And now I can highlight all the pieces except for the base. And this orange outline shows everything that's going to now be affected when I use the move tool. Although before I move it, I'm going to have to change to a camera that's not locked. Okay, now if I right click on these items and select move, I get the new um, move tool within Keyshot, which is really, really nice too. It's got other features that are definitely worth mentioning. I'm going to change it to local, so it's now, axes are now aligned to my geometry I want to move. Pop it up a little bit. I'm going to snap rotate by holding shift, and now that's vertical. I will move this aside, and now you can see I've achieved exactly what I wanted to in a matter of maybe a minute, instead of going back over to Moto and editing the geometry and re-importing it into Keyshot. We've got the fan guard attached to the fan and the stand all now separated. I can now go and finish my rendering. If you have any questions on this, please let me know in the comments. And hopefully I will be able to continue making little tutorials such as this to help people get acquainted with the new version of Keyshot.